Sagittarius, my babies. Hi, my lovelies. I missed you. I love you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I love you too. Um, this is a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, wherever you have Sag in your chart. Um, are you be dealing with a Sagittarius or uh, the title just resonated? Whatever. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Like I said, it's a general read. So it's okay. There's plenty of amazing readers on here. On you. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we done. All right. Okay. Let's see what we have. I feel like something, I just feel like a whirlwind is going on around you. There's a flame. This candle right here has two wicks. And, um, and look, here you are at the bottom. Grand Triumph Blessing. That's the, my temperance card in this deck. Um, this candle has two wicks and it, one wick keeps lighting the other and it goes out and it turns on and it goes out. It's like off and on. Something keeps going off and on, I feel. Let's see what we get, y'all. Let's do for Saturn. I don't know if some of you are going through your Saturn return. I know I am. And Saturn just went direct a couple, not too long ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. And it's a slow uh, moving energy because it's in one of the outer planets, but it's like, um, there's a bee out there. I don't know how I focus in on that. My eyesight is like terrible. Um, ooh, yeah. Saturn, Black Moon, Lilith. Something feels, I heard the word primal. Scorpio, how fitting. Something's transforming around you. I'm not, I don't. Okay, I feel like, yes, you have gone through a transformation, but I feel like it's more like external to you. And it's kind of like you needing to um, just take a step back because I feel like a lot of you guys are, yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the hangman, Pisces, with Aquarius, with the star. So definitely something is aligning for you guys. Something is faded? Huh, okay. Um... And with Saturn being here, this is like, it's almost like a reward because Saturn has been retrograde and it just kind of like, okay, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn my back and see what you can do while I'm going to head out. I'm going to go on a little vacation. And when I turn around, I want to see what you did here. Um, so now that it's turned around and it's like, ready or not, here I come with his slow self. But I feel like whatever Saturn gets involved, it's something that is solidified. While, yes, there is limitations, restrictions, like you could have been feeling like that at some point, but things are letting up right now. And you feel something in the air, you just don't know what it is. And that's it's just because things are going from one stage to the next. And why I said you feel confused, because it's not necessarily like, yes, you have been going through your own transformation but I just feel like something is it like it's external to you like it's not necessarily you but it's gonna affect you for the good because Saturn this is long lasting this is the planet of time karma um this is like the daddy of <laughs> the planets like this is dad right here dad's back okay so if, um, and it could have been with, um, like if I'm going to relate this to uh, Tara, because this would be like the Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, Death, and the Seven of Cups. So I don't even feel like that, but I just, I know that it could be that, that some of you guys went through some sort of heartbreak and you guys are coming out of it, like some sort of like, um, and it could have been a third party situation. Um, I'm getting really sick of hearing third party. I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, but it's transforming. Like it's changing, but it's like unbeknownst to you because Saturn turned around. I was like, all right, step aside, youngin. I got this. Okay. Who are you using today? I guess we're just going to go ahead and use this. Good old bonfire. Good old bonfire. 
so right now I feel like you guys are kind of it's not really a standstill for you guys but I feel like it's just nothing that you guys need to do and I did have um, a, a personal reading yesterday and it was something that was kind of like along those lines like but this is something that I've been feeling myself and I always I can always relate to a sad reading it was that death card tomorrow I feel like you're being left out of something or you're leaving someone out of something definitely something being cut out let's find out shall we Ten of Wands. I do feel like death and the moon. Yeah, see, that's something that's hidden from you. Page of Cups. Two of Coins. Ten of Swords. Knight of Wands. Five of Cups. Justice. Seven of Cups. Knight of Coins. Okay, so you got two knights here. So that brings me back to that damn third party crap. And let's see. The Moon, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Cups. All right. Rainbows and sunshine, okay? Rainbows and sunshine. Okay, so I do feel like somebody's going to reach out to you or you're going to reach out to someone but there's something that is kind of like unspoken with the ten of swords with the seven of cups it's like I feel like this is like past and for it to be under the uh, Scorpio card like under the like transformation like there was some betrayal you know, some I mean something definitely ended with the, with it being a ten, that is a completion of some sort. But with Seven of Cups, this is like the Seven of Cups. So But it's like you're confused, and I feel like it's because there's something that is unspoken. Remember I said that there's something hidden from you. This is like this could be someone's knee. And look at the Wheel of Fortune under here her she has the blindfold on so it's like something's going on behind the scenes that you just don't know about and it doesn't necessarily have to mean that something bad I don't feel anything bad from this um but I do feel like it was something that was offered to you before that either you walked away from or someone else walked away from you some sort of offer was made and it kind of just felt like I keep thinking about that one read that I did, that congratulations, you played yourself. That is like one of my very first readings ever. And I'm thinking about it as I'm looking at this. Like you made an offer to someone and they didn't take it. And it kind of just left you in this energy. Like Page of Cups, it was like not enough for them. It was like, maybe it was too soon it being a page because it's, you know, Im immature could have been um, the person is younger than you or you are younger than them or it's something along the lines of where it was just like I just feel like it wasn't the right time because now with the wheel of fortune being at the bottom of the deck it's like remember I said something is being aligned like something had to happen first some during that Saturn retrograde things happened that you were unaware of It's like everything has been playing out the way it's supposed to. And now I just kind of feel like things are about to balance out. With the two of coins, like somebody's going up shit creek. I think of that every time I look at this card. This is making me feel like six of coins. So if you're dealing with a legal situation, uh, I feel like there's some kind of money involved. Like, definitely, like, with Saturn here, I just, 
zoned in on that. Like there is a truth that's being revealed that you don't know about, but it's like, it's working to your benefit. And it's been a long time coming with the Knight of Coins here. Um, it's been in the works. You know, people, the transformation just didn't happen overnight. This is over the past few months. Could have been in the past 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months. Because with the 10 here too, with the sacrifice, it was like some, something had to be sacrificed. Something had to be given up. Something, um, but let's clarify because I just, and with this Knight of Wands, like this is, it could be, you could, we could say that it's someone that's in and out of your life. But this is that on and off again that I kept thinking about. They could be coming back a little bit more solid because, you know, this could have been how they were and this is how they are now. And it's kind of throwing you off because it's like, hold on. Remember that one time when you played me? I mean, you really played yourself, but remember that one time? And it could be just throwing you off. Yeah, see, I just, I said that. I would, When I looked at that, I was thinking of Six of Pentacles, like equal give and take like somebody is finally wanting to people I feel like people are going to start seeing you in a different light which is you know I feel like Sag gets a bad rap tell me about the page of cups queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, Earth Energy. You could have made an offer to this person or that person could have made an offer to you. Either way, it was like a pissy mood around it. Like, what is this? Look at these crumbs. <laughs> like, they didn't want it. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Page of Wands. Yeah, see, the Page of Wands delivers, like, a message. But this is, like, she looks surprised. Like, what? So, in the past, I feel like you delivered a message to this person, and now they're they're returning. Or this could be someone who's just a nurturing, they don't have to be a choice for a Capricorn. This is somebody who is very nurturing, who is, you know, do you need anything? Um, they make sure the kids are taken care of. They make sure everything in the home is taken care of. Like, this is the caretaker. They're wanting to come in and balance things out. Hmm, tell me about the night one. Because I don't feel like this is two different people. I feel like this is the same person. Well, it's like you're almost not, you're not seeing this coming because you're like, not that you had an expectation. Where are you here in this? I feel like this is you, honestly. You and the Seven of Cups. I feel, I just feel like you're just kind of like, what the fuck? Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Whatever is not being talked about, I feel like it has to do with this betrayal. And now I'm thinking about the last read where I said, you're going to have to give something up. You're going to have to let something go. Something has to be sacrificed. It's almost like letting bygones be bygones. Like taking it for what it is right now in this moment and not rehash the past. Because the way you react to something, like you can definitely set the atmosphere with your reaction. Like it could go one or two ways. And at the bottom of the deck when that came out was the two of wands. Tell me about the five. Oh, shit. Yeah, somebody definitely got something to say. That was the Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in hot. Hot. <laughs> Talk about the five of cups. Four of swords in reverse. So this is like the timeout card. Um, timeout's over. Ding, ding, ding. Somebody's coming back. 
they're definitely injured. I'm not sure if they're still needing healing or you still are. It could be both. But there's stability behind it. The four of wands, two fours, that's pretty good. That is stability. Same about the seven of cups. Why are you feeling? Okay, I feel like, okay, the Hierophant. Okay, so this might have been somebody, this is Taurus card, Sag. Sag. The pages are here. The page of pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel like you or somebody is coming back before you thought like maybe before it was time or it's like, is it too soon? But it's like, they're one, they're coming back because they want that old thing back. Or this could be you. And I'm just saying, I can attest to somebody wanting to get that old thing back. And I can definitely tell you that it was mutual. Girl Scouts honor, he said. I promise. And you're like, wait, what? Who are you? Are you sick? I feel like at one point you thought about this person, like you were thinking about like marriage, you know, all of the good times, all the bad times you've been through. Like this person has always been in the back of your mind. I feel like it's a tradition for it to be on again, off again. That's kind of whack. Tell me about the Knight of Coins. Actually, I don't know about this Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. Like, but they're coming back and it's, remember that it's the equal give and take here. It's balancing things out. It's mutual. Tell me about the Hierophant. Hmm, I did not see this one coming. Temperance, see? They want to balance things out. This is, they're being slow about it too. I feel like this, they, either you wanted this to happen or they did, or again, I'm just feeling like this is a mutual thing. And look, at the bottom of the deck is um, the Four of Wands. So definitely, like I said, balance. Stability, for sure. Oh, wow. And there is expansion with the Empress. And you can relate this to business as well. Um, let me get a an advice quote for you. <laughs> Golden crown. Hold on. No, it wasn't. And at the bottom of the deck is strength. So I'll read this for you quickly. And then let's... I just feel like this is something that you kind of have been waiting for. All right, so congratulations on your amazing journey so far. Acknowledge the spiritual and personal growth that you have achieved. Dear one, celebrate this moment. We're all here in spirit to rejoice in just how far you've come. Your strength and perseverance have paid off. And your fortune is, or fortune. Oh, okay, so maybe it's a fortune. Because the word is definitely future. The, your future is bright. The gift of the golden crown has been placed upon your head in honor. And you know, okay, I'm sorry, time out. Because when I was shuffling, I kept seeing the Sag card in that deck. And I was feeling like, okay, I felt it for it actually being a victory. Because it's the Six of Wands, that card. And that is, that, that is your card. Like, there's some sort of, like, recognition around this. So you're probably getting the recognition that you deserve, but it, and it's throwing you off. But go with it, because this was meant for you. Um, yeah, the gift of the golden crown has been placed upon your head in honor of all you have achieved, have already achieved. Bask in the glory of love that rains down on you. You deserve it. Are you up for your next adventure? We here in spirit need your assistance. Many souls who dwell upon this earth are disconnected from love. They do not know their worth or see their inner divine light. Oh. We ask that you assist in helping humanity see its creative potential, power, and brilliant light. Be conscious of feeling of feelings of judgment and envy. It is easy to get caught up in either of the two energies. Judgment of those you see are less 
those you see as less empowered and envious of those you see as more. Guiding others to their inner light requires love, empathy, and compassion. This is no one less or greater than you, for we are all part of the same source of love. Help us guide humanity back to the remembrance of who they are with a pure heart and mind. You have the will to go the distance and you should be pleased with your personal success. Go now and be be of service to humanity. Blessed be. Okay, so here's how I'm, because now I'm seeing it now. Because the story that I was relating this to was my own. And somebody came back around and this was something that I wanted. In fact, I am the Taurus, okay? Um, and I did make that offer before and it, they did reject it. And actually, and, and it has been off and on, but it's like mutual on both ends. Like, I know that there was a part where this person felt like, and they would never admit that to me, but where they felt less than and I just thought so much differently than like well you're like way smarter you're so much better than that like you really are great like and I have a really I'm easy with that as far as myself like my confidence is super high even on my lowest days but I wanted that person to feel that way too and when they came back around it was easy for me I instantly got like whoa what are you saying like I was confused I was thrown off like I was shocked I was surprised and I'm like, okay, well, this is what I wanted. This is a mutual thing. We don't really have to talk about the past. I don't, I don't, in fact, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even care anymore. But I know that people do come to me looking for, sorry, that they do come to me looking for that kind of guidance. And me being in the position that I'm in, I have to, I have to act out of a place of compassion. I was just saying this yesterday too. I have to act from a place of compassion and unconditional love so that people can see their own light because it's not as easy as it is for me. I mean, it's not as easy for other people as it is for me. And sometimes you are just that person for someone else. So have compassion when this person comes back around or if this is you, you know, either way, like take it slow, have the the love and compassion that you should be operating from and just wear this golden crown because right now things are working to your benefit, okay? So Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. I did not want it to go this long. I'm sorry. If you want to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Um, if it resonated, comment, like, share, subscribe. I love, love, love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.